What the flip is poppin' Tube Nation? Yes, I am in a car. I'm not sitting in my bed playing Life is Strange. What a concept. That means life really is strange. I am currently in traffic because... <laughs> guess where we're going, baby? Take a wild guess. You should have gotten that. That's better, by the way. It's getting dark. It's so cloudy outside. Oh my God. This is the first day in forever where it actually feels like fall. I woke up to just no sun in LA. Cloudy skies. It looks like it's gonna thunder and lightning and it says that it's gonna like do that. So I'm hoping that that actually happens because I need some entertainment. I've been so bored. What was I just gonna say? I was just gonna say something. Hi, it's me editing and you're sitting on a wine glass, right? Ooh. Okay, sorry, I'm already at my cabin, but I remembered what I was gonna say while editing this. When I looked outside my window this morning, I felt like Blair Waldorf in Gossip Girl. If you get it, you get it. Like, I just felt like I was in New York I felt like I was in New York. It was like a cloudy day. So much drama's going on. It's raining outside. I was like snuggled up with my blanket, hot coffee, and I was just like staring out my window. I was playing some, I wasn't, okay, I wasn't playing like sad music, but I was playing like really like chill, soft, like not sad, but just like sweet, kind of eerie, kind of angsty music in the background and I was just looking out my window while the rain was dripping on my window pane. That rhymes. I'm insane. You know my name. But yeah, no, I just like felt like I was in an episode of Gossip Girl because while the rain was pouring on my window pane, my phone was blowing up. I'm about to talk about it kind of in a second, but just so much drama is going on in my life that I don't even know why I'm involved in. But I just felt like I was in a TV show and I got to the main plot point of the drama and I'm just looking at my window being like, can't we all just relax? It was giving main character. Like it is so rare that it's cloudy and gray and sad outside. When it does happen, everybody in LA just freaks out and they get all like emotional and they just like really amp it up even though it was like still kind of hot outside. I literally ordered a pumpkin spice latte from Starbucks. I'm not kidding. I did because I'm like, it's fall, baby. I'm in Gossip Girl, I need my pumpkin spice latte while I'm trying to deal with this drama. <laughs> I wish I had a camera crew because I like also took out my journal and I was like journaling and looking outside the window and then journaling again, looking out the window, journaling. It was an epic moment. For my Southern California girlies, you get it. We never have our time to be angsty. And when it happens, oh my God, you have to like soak it all in and be super dramatic with it. Anyway, you guys, I'm running on zero hours of sleep. I pulled an all nighter last night and I hate to use this word loosely because I know that mania and manic states are a real thing, but I genuinely felt like I was in a manic state. I was very restless last night, couldn't calm my brain down and I just needed to get the fuck out of LA. I've been going through a lot in my personal life and I just felt really suffocated. Also, there were so many birthdays. Oh my God, I didn't realize that the majority of my friends are Libras and their birthdays were just back after 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 back. After back. And quite honestly, my back is killing me from constantly celebrating all my girlies birthdays. Had a great time, but I just like, I've been drinking so much because of that. And I always gotta go ham on the girlies birthdays. You know, like that's a special occasion. Wait, hang on, am I going the right way? Yes, I am. Yeah, I always go ham on the girlies birthdays. And then the next day I just feel like trash. I waste a whole day. Think about all the embarrassing shit that I did. Okay, it, I didn't I didn't do anything like that embarrassing, but you know what I mean, just like the anxiety of it all. And my body is depleted 
and I feel like there's just no serotonin left in my body and it's just anxiety. I feel like my anxiety is like looking for any drop of serotonin, any dopamine, but I'm just fucking depleted. Yeah, and like I said, I've been going through a lot of things in my personal life uh, that I'm not ready to share. One of these days I will just like a lot of mess, just a lot of drama, a lot of shit that I got dragged into when I was just minding my business, but apparently I'm, I got involved in it. It's a long story. I'll catch you guys up one of these days, but right now I just need to get the fuck out of LA. I feel like I can't breathe. And so, so if you guys guessed it, yes, I am going back to Idlewild. Woo, woo, woo. Who's excited? But first, what time is it? Oh, that's right. It's dinner time and I am hungry. <laughs> you already know what's up. This video is sponsored by the one and only Hello Fresh. Do you have a packed schedule this fall? Because I know I do. Hello Fresh has meals covered with a weekly selection of 30 plus recipes and 70 plus convenience items all delivered to your door. Hello Fresh works with your schedule. The plans are flexible and you can change your meal preferences, update your delivery day, and even change your address with just a few taps on the HelloFresh app. That's right, people. You can effortlessly save time, money, and stress. And also, HelloFresh helps you reach your goals. They offer veggie, pescatarian, and fit and wholesome meals to make it easier to stick to your goals, okay? HelloFresh can also help you eat more sustainably. They are the first carbon neutral meal kit company and nearly all packaged is recyclable. And don't we all want to do a little bit more and help the planet? Because I know I do. And you should too. And you guys, I keep telling you every single time I talk about HelloFresh, I am not a good cook. I have no idea what I'm doing ever and I really wanted to start getting into cooking so HelloFresh came into my life at the most perfect time and it's just helping me build those basic skills that I need with proportions and all the different ingredients that I need to make good meals. And the fact that it all comes in a package and it gives me direct instructions so I don't mess it up and it doesn't taste like garbage. It tastes great every time. And I have been noticing week after week with HelloFresh, my cooking skills are just improving. It's just getting better. I'm starting to understand it more. It's just starting to click in my little brain and I just feel like an adult because I'm 25, you guys. I'm 25. I should know how to cook by now. HelloFresh is genuinely helping me so much. And also look at these cute little pans that my mom just got me. She saw my last HelloFresh video and she was like, girl, you need some new pans. And so my mom ordered me a set online. So look at these cute little blue pans. I love them. I feel like Gordon Ramsay up in here making this sauce. Look at that sauce just squirting out. <laughs> And then I'm mixing it together. The sauce is looking fluid and sweet and savory at the same time. And then I got my rice and then I'm gonna pour my vegetables in. I'm gonna drizzle the sauce right on over, get my fork and I'm ready to inhale this delicious meal. Look at this meal. It's fried rice with veggies with like seasoning and like a sauce. I don't even really know what I just made, but it was honestly so delicious. I was so satisfied with it. I got my headphones on and I'm grooving to my tunes and I genuinely do this every week and I honestly look forward to making food now instead of just ordering on delivery apps. You guys need to seriously get on the bandwagon and join me in the fun, okay? Go to HelloFresh.com and use code SARABASCA65 for 65% off plus free shipping. That's Sarah Baska 65 for 65% off plus free shipping. Thank you so much HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video and let's get into it. I'm going back to Idlewild and I am so freaking excited to get away, connect with nature. And I was thinking about it and the last time that I was in Idlewild was like a year ago from now. Like almost exactly. I think I went in November, so I'm a little early, but I usually have my mental breakdowns, like my big mental breakdowns around this time. 
usually it starts around November but it just creeped up earlier this year I guess so I rented this really gorgeous freaking cabin oh my god it's one that I haven't been to yet and I'm really excited and I've been chatting with the Airbnb host or the owner all day long and I feel like we're about to become really good friends. Like I really fuck with her. She's like this cute hippie bitch. Oh my God, she's so cool. We've just been like talking all day like about our lives. And she's like, I cannot wait to meet you. And I'm like, period, me too. <laughs> she already invited me to one of her pole dancing classes. Cause she teaches that. And I'm like, bitch, I love pole dancing. I just started taking pole dancing classes. So I think I'm gonna do that with her. I have no idea who this bitch is, but apparently I'm doing that. I think that this video is just gonna be me talking in my car and then I'll post another video about me in the actual cabin just so I can break it up because I just feel like I haven't talked to you guys in so long. Ugh, the Life is Strange series went on for so long. It was so fun, don't get me wrong, so fun but I'm ready to like settle back into my regular videos and I just feel like you guys have no idea what's going on with me these days. And honestly, I have no idea what's going on with me either. Quite frankly, a lot is, but I can't share it on the internet. But the things that I can share, not that much. Like no like crazy, exciting things have been happening to me. Well, I guess like a few things. So do you guys remember the last time I was in Idlewild? I wouldn't call it a mental breakdown. It was a realization. It was a realization that I needed to make witchy friends, right? Like older women witchy bitches. You guys remember that? It's been a, it's been a while, okay? And <laughs> I can confidently tell you guys that I made that shit happen. I made that shit happen. Once I left Idlewild last year, I made it my mission to, cause remember I was like, I really want to do like full moon meditations with bitches and get out our crystals and like clean them together and like manifest together and like write down our affirmations and shit and meditate together and hold each other's hands and burn our insecurities in the fire. Like the insecurities that we write down on the paper, just burn them in the fire together. Well, guess what? I did that last week, bitch, for the first time. It was exactly what I was craving, you guys. Exactly what I was wanting. Basically, I met this girl, she was really dope, and she was like, oh my God, I remember in one of your videos you said you wanted to do a full moon meditation. I was like, yeah, I do. And she was like, my godmother leads them with her friends. And I was like, excuse me, bitch. And she was like, yeah, my godmother who's like in her fifties gets together with her witchy bitchy friends and they sit in a circle in a garden and they do all that shit. And I'm like, please invite me. I need, I need to experience that. This is everything that I've ever wanted. And she was like, okay, come to the next one. I'm there. Sorry if this is so shaky. Oh my God, is this so shaky? I really hope not. She invited me. I was really fucking nervous, really nervous. Um, I barely even knew that girl. I just met her and I've never done anything like this before. So I was just kind of on edge walking in. I considered shotgunning a beer before going, but then I'm like, Sarah, that completely defeats the entire purpose of what you're trying to achieve. Um, so let's not get buzzed before you go. Just go sober and go with an open mind. So I had to talk myself out of that because I was so nervous. So I walk in, I'm pretty sure I'm wearing this. I walk in and it's all of these older ladies and they just look like witchy bitches. I'm like, period. Just think Stevie Nicks times 10, like just 10 Stevie Nicks's. Not as witchy, but like, you know what I'm saying. So I walk in, I'm right on time and I'm really proud of myself. Like I got there right on time because it's, because she sent me the little flyer and she was like, if you're, 
even late a little bit, we're just gonna close the door because we don't want you to fuck up the energy by walking in late. And I was like, that makes sense. I will be on time. I was on time and I walk in and I'm like, oh, hi guys. And there's like, oh, like soft meditation music playing in the background. I instantly felt at ease. It was like in this beautiful garden. There was like fairy lights everywhere. There was a little pond, like with a little waterfall. Oh my God, it was such a vibe. There was like tapestries everywhere, such a vibe. And there was like a bunch of mats in a circle with cushions and then blankets. And I'm like, period. And then this girl who looked my age, not the girl that I knew from before, but a different girl, she saw me walk in. I don't like, okay, this this is gonna sound really weird, but I I have like a sixth sense of when people recognize me or like notice me in public, you know what I mean? Like their eyes just kind of get wide and then they like kind of like look to see if it's really me. And I just, I can see it in the corner of my eye and I'm like, oh shit, okay, this girl knows me. And so then she walked over to me and I was like, oh shit, all right. When I saw her walking over to me, I knew exactly what it was, but I got so fucking nervous because this was gonna be such a vulnerable space. Like sharing my insecurities, like going around the circle and like, I don't know. I don't know. I, I was just like, oh shit. Cause like, I was kind of hoping that no one knew who I was just so I like felt like I could be free with that and like really dig deep in there. So I was kind of like, oh shit, but wh whatever. Right? Like I, it's just like an anxiety thing, I guess. Like when I'm in really um, like intimate spaces like that, when I'm like being very vulnerable, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if that makes sense, but anyway, so she walks up to me and I'm like, oh shit. And she was like, are you? And I was like, what? She was like, are you Sarah? And I was like, yeah. She was like, oh my God, I love your videos. I like grew up on your videos. And I was like, oh, T. And then um, she had such a calming presence. Like her presence was such a beautiful, magical, warm, presence like she wasn't like oh my god oh my god like she wasn't freaking out that I was there she was just like fuck yeah like welcome and I'm like thank you and I immediately when she started talking to me I felt really good like I felt calm and I was I was happy oh my god lightning fuck yeah I just saw lightning I felt happy that I knew someone um, because my friend that told me about this circle thing, she couldn't come that night. So I, I wasn't going to know anybody. So this girl, this girl just like saying that to me and just being like really chill. Like I've known her for years. It was an amazing thing. She like introduced me to the teacher and we were talking for several minutes before the meditation thing even started. And I genuinely was like, I feel like I could breathe, you know? I was like, okay, cool. Like, I don't feel weird about being vulnerable around this girl because she's just really chill and cool. And she was telling me why she was there and she has like a lot of trauma that she's trying to sort through. So she was already getting deep with me from the jump and I'm like period okay yes and she was like don't worry like the teacher's gonna make you feel really comfortable and I was like tea so I sat next to her and we're all sitting in a circle it's very chill the teacher makes us go around the circle and explain why we're there and I just explained why I was there it was such a great time it was a two hour long ceremony we wrote down all of the things that have been holding us back. It was for the full moon in Aries. So with full moons, it's all about letting go and releasing. So this ceremony was just all about releasing negative energy that doesn't serve you anymore. And like mental blocks and like emotional blocks that's been holding you back. So we like all wrote them on pieces of paper. We all stood together and burned it in a fire while holding hands. And I was like, this is exactly what I wanted. 
and people were like crying and shit. I was almost crying, like listening to some of these women's stories. I felt so connected and close to them. It was fantastic. It was absolutely fantastic. Oh my God, it was great. It was great. And then we did a bunch of meditations. We did a bunch of affirmations. Fantastic time. Oh my God. So I did that after um, I celebrated all of my friends' birthdays because I was just feeling so fucking depleted and just, I, I just needed that. And so after that, I was like, fuck yeah. I feel, I feel better. I feel lighter. Um, so now I'm going to go to Idlewild. See what's popping. See what the Idlewild folk are up to. I miss them. I'm trying to like shorten my videos a little bit more. Um, just because of the editing workload. It's really hard on my mental health. So I'm going to make this one short and sweet. I just wanted to like update you guys on what's going on with me. I'm living my best life in the forest. And expect a little Idlewild vlog perhaps next weekend. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. Please comment in the comment section how you guys are doing. Like, if this... Was it Mercury and Retro... I don't know. How, how have you guys been feeling? I feel like there's been a lot of crazy energy going on. And I feel like just a lot of people are going through it. And also, what are you guys going to be for Halloween? I need help. Because my costume last year was so superb, I literally don't know how to one-up myself. Like last year I was Goofy Goober Rock and I made my costume myself and it was so fun and so creative. Um, but I kind of want to be a slut this year. Like I want to do something slutty. Even though I was technically like a slutty Goofy Goober, I want to do something a little bit more slutty. I'm feeling just really confident in my skin these days I'm feeling sexy I'm feeling powerful but I just don't know what to do like I don't I can't think of anything creative like I don't want I don't want to do like oh I'm gonna be the devil I'm gonna be a maid like no I want something creative like if you guys have any suggestions for me that you think would like fit my personality really well like I don't want it to be just slutty I want it to be like funny too and creative and something that just fits my vibe I was thinking like slutty pit bull but I don't want to wear a bald cap like I, I want to look hot you know I, don't, I just don't want to wear a bald cap I don't want to do any of that I want to just be a sexy something so if you guys have any suggestions, please help me out. I am struggling. My brain is fried. Like I said, I'm, I'm just depleted these days and I don't even have the energy to think about Halloween. Like the fact that that's coming up soon, I'm like, hey God, can you slow down? Like I'm barely above water, bro. Like I can't can't think about costumes and I need like several of them because in LA bitches go out like all week when it comes to Halloween so I'm like bitch like usually I don't care about Halloween but I want to start caring like I really want to start putting more effort into like looking like a baddie on Halloween and like having a cool costume because I'm only 25 once. I'm only in my 20s once. Like, I want to look back on these years and be like, yes, I slayed on Halloween. Like, I fucking slayed that shit. So, you know what I mean? Like, I used to just not care. And I think a lot of that has to do with just, like, my self-confidence issues. Like, I had really bad self-esteem. Last year was the first year where I truly felt so confident and comfortable in my own skin where I like wanted to care about Halloween as sad as that is and I just need to like keep that energy going you know what I mean and I think that I also used to downplay it and like always dress up really quirky and like do like quirky costumes and like silly costumes but I want to be hot and silly 
I want to be hot and silly. You know what I mean? But also, I want it to be cool. So, yeah, if you guys have any suggestions, let a girl know. And I'll shout you out if I like it. And if I'm going to use it, I'll give you credit. Um, but, yeah, I know that this video was a lot more chill. I just wanted to catch up with you guys and just, I wanted you to just hang out with me in the car while I'm going to Idlewild. I missed you guys so much. Let me know how you guys are doing and I'll see you in Idlewild.